Okay, I'm going to go over how we do our online schedule for Timberdoodle. Um, to create your schedule, you'll go to timberdoodle.com backslash schedule. And then once you get there, you can click begin scheduling now. And then it will have you log in with the same information that you use to purchase your curriculum. And then down at the bottom, it will have the curriculum kit that you purchase and you can create, um, you can click create schedule. Um, if you don't see it at the bottom, you can um, click don't see your purchased curriculum and use your code and there's a code that comes with your curriculum kit. So I'm going to create schedule and then it says what is the student's name so I'm going to put Briley in there and then um, when do you want the schedule to start we are going to do it for um, Tuesday September 6th that's the Tuesday after Labor Day and that's when school starts in Minnesota so we are going to follow that like state guideline and then it says do you want this curriculum scheduled Monday through Friday I'm going to put yes we are going to be doing a five-day week um, for school this year uh, in the past years we've done a four-day work week but I think with all the curriculum that we need to get through we will do a five-day work week this year and then you can schedule it by an end date or you can schedule it by how many weeks you want to do and so we're going to do by an end date and we're just going to leave it at May 26th and then it asks if we want to schedule any curriculum breaks, which we do. I'm going to add Thanksgiving, which is the 24th um, through the 27th. And then I'm also going to add a Christmas or um, holiday break. And we will do that from the 17th until the first so we'll go back to school on the second and I'm not going to add any spring breaks or anything um, we might just take time off when that time comes but I'm not going to plan for that at this point point. and then I'm going to click save and continue and then it goes over every subject that you have and the books that come with it you can take away books if you don't want to use them, or you can add um, additional courses if you want. So I'm just going to leave it as what we have. And then it shows you what you would need to get done per week um, to get done by your scheduled end date. Then we have math, thinking skills, history, geography, science, um, typing. So um, I originally ordered the Windows edition and we have a Mac computer. So I sent our like physical disk back and they sent me a code. So I'm just going to leave it in here as like the Windows because it's just typing anyway. But we will do the online version for our schooling. And this is art, learning tools, and I'm not going to add any additional courses. And then it kind of goes over everything for the whole school year that needs to get done to finish it by your end date. Then I'm going to go to dashboard. Then you can actually click the schedule and it will show you like a weekly view um, the yearly view and then you can also do like a daily view so here's the weekly view and I'm actually gonna print off the first week um, as a weekly view and then also the first week's daily view so we can make sure that we get everything done for that first week and then you can also do it as a digital checklist so once we finish it we can check off every day what we get done so we don't miss anything.
but I'm going to uncheck those because we haven't done them yet. And then that is how you use the online scheduler. Okay, after I went through and put everything into the online scheduler, I printed Bradley's first weekly checklist. So this one has everything that we will need to get done for the entire first week of school. And then I also printed each daily checklist. So this would be Tuesday, the rest of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and her Friday checklist. Okay, so I'm going to go through right now and kind of write down everything that we need to do on each day so we know um, exactly what we'll have to get done for sure. I'm going to start with the Language Smarts book. So right here's our Language Smarts book. And it says for the first day we'll do pages one and two, which would be syllables. And then on Wednesday we have pages three and four. which is syllables again. And then pages five and six, which is syllables and then <clears throat> consonant blends. And then we have pages seven and eight for Friday. So that's consonant blends and consonant blends. Next up we have the literature. Um, so we have that on Tuesday. And then we don't have it on Wednesday. Or Thursday. But then we have it again on Friday. Okay, so for our literature book, this is the teacher's guide. Um, we'll open it up to the first unit. So for the first day, we're going to be working on the jar of Tasai. And then the second part will be the story of the white sombrero. So that's our Tuesday and then on Friday it will be the story of the white sombrero. So then she will also have worksheets that go with each story in section. Okay, next up we have cursive logic, and that is only on our Tuesday, I believe. Yes, yeah, so we will just work on that one day a week. So here is our book. So we'll do week one on Tuesday. And it just shows the proper way to hold the pencil and how to do her posture. Then we do beginning words work, beginning word roots. So let's see, Tuesday. So that will just be on our Tuesday. We have the beginning word roots. And that is 
one lesson or review one. So lesson one, there's one, two, three, three pages. Okay, so I put three pages on there for lesson one. <clears throat> and then we do spelling you see, which is I believe every day. Yes, so we will do, so this is workbook one, and we will do one daily lesson. <clears throat> so right here, 1A, put 1A, and then... Daily lesson two would be 1B. Daily lesson three would be 1C. And then four would be 1D. Okay, so let's see, we got all of our literature done for our language arts for Tuesday. So this one we have the Daily Six Trait Writing Grade 3. Let's find that book. Okay, so that's this one, and we have to do assignments 1 through 4. So right here it says choosing um, a strong idea for week one. Okay, so it says week one, day one, week one, day two. And we will do the first four days. Now we're on to math. So we have to do multiplication wrap ups. This one is going to be new to Briley. We haven't done multiplication before, so she probably won't really know what to do with this until we kind of go over some of the multiplication tables. So it says we have to do each board once, and then we don't have to do it on Wednesday, and then we'll do it on Thursday, and then again on Friday. And then we're going to do the mystery mosaics. So she will do half of the first one. Okay, and then we will play this Moby Max game on Tuesday. That's Wednesday is worksheets, worksheet, and worksheet. Okay. And then um, we will do the Math UC Gamma, a seven worksheet lesson. So here's our book. Here is the instruction manual. I'm going to look at it quick. Um, on our thing, it says Matthew C. Gamma, um, a seven worksheet lesson. We will probably just do one worksheet a day until we kind of get into it and figure out um, how our day is going to go. Math is a subject that Briley kind of struggles with. 
So I don't want to overwhelm her on the first couple days of school, especially when we're doing multiplication and it's something she hasn't learned before. So we will just do one page a day. <laughs> And then this one is the Battle Sheep game and then the Horse Academy. I have those games set to the side and we'll just pull them out um, at the beginning of the school day. We like to start our school day every day with a game, so I'm sure we will play more than one of this. I know Bradley will like to do that. And then we have the Critical Thinking. Okay, so then we have our Critical Thinking one. And this says that we will be doing page one. So this one will be a spectacular September. And it just talks about starting school. Okay. So then next up, oh, I guess we could do the other pages. Okay, so critical thinking page two. is another spectacular September. Then we have Disasters in History, which is the graphic novel. So it says Disasters in History, one story. And then we don't have it on there or there or there. Okay, so we just have to read one story. which is, the first one is The Donner Party. Okay, and then next up we have The Story of the World, Chapter 1, which is this one. Okay, so we have to do the story of the world on Tuesday and then again on Friday we read chapter one and then chapter two. Um, this is probably something that I could read a couple pages a day as long as we get the chapters done in the week that they are assigned. So chapter one is the Holy Roman Empire. Chapter 2 is the Dutch Revolt. So next up we have the famous figures of the early modern era. Oh yeah, you're just talking. Okay, so first up we have figure 1. which would be um, Mary, Queen of Scots. And then we don't have any more. So she would be the only one that we do the first, the first week, Mary, Queen of Scots, which looks like looks like that and then Bradley can color this one if she wants
Okay, and then it says on here that we can do the puzzle globe um, next up. I don't know if we will get to that the first day or save it for another day or kind of work on it all, all week maybe. And then skills sharpeners geography. Okay, so it says on Tuesday we will be doing page one. which is um, a globe. We will do page two on the next day, which is globes, about globes. Next up will be um, the Dr. Bonafide Presents Bones, book one, which is this book. So it just kind of has a preface and a welcome thing. So page one is the skeleton. And then page two is bones page three is bones again and then this one is page four is about x-rays we have the science in the scientific revolution and for that one we will be doing lesson one on the first day so that is this book so right here it says lesson one is nicholas copernicus hopefully i said his name right I'm going to write that on here. We have lesson two, which is more evidence for the heliocentric system. And then lesson three is the objections to the heliocentric system. And then that is the end of that one. And then let's see here. Next up we have typing. Ours is online. We have the Mac version. I actually exchanged it out. So that's just lesson one, lesson two, three. And then we don't do it on this day. Okay. So then next we will do the Gravitrax. That one is a game over there. Um, then we have Doodle Space Bugs. Which is You Draw the Story. So we have page one. Okay, so it looks like you would start on page nine with the drawing. So it's every day we would read a page, page one, page two, page three, and then page four. And then Zentangle for kids, which is another like drawing type book. So we would do design one.
which is what is entangled. Okay. And then we don't do it the next day or the next day and then we do it again on Friday which is page two. So this one is strings. And then we will also do a paint by number if we have time otherwise we will finish it out at the end of the week. And then a thinking putty. And I believe that that is everything that we'd have to get done for the first week. So going through and kind of figuring out everything that we have to get done for the first week, it doesn't seem quite as overwhelming as when I was first kind of going through everything and seeing all of the books. And we're actually excited for this school year to begin.